For the last two months, we have been sharing the entire renovation process of this house that we were renovating for my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. In the previous episodes of this series, you have watched us demo this entire house, paint everything, install new flooring. I've shared the bedroom and bathroom makeover in this home. And now today's episode is going to be the complete makeover of the kitchen. So for the first few minutes of the video, I'll quickly take you back through what we've done so far in this kitchen, and then you will get to see all of the new progress in this kitchen, adding new granite countertops, tile backsplash, appliances, a sink, furniture, decor, and stay tuned because at the end of this video, you'll get to see the completed kitchen and all the before and afters. And I want to say a huge thank you to Hisense for sponsoring today's video. We love Hisense appliances and their beautiful kitchen appliances were the perfect finishing touch for this kitchen. at building these cabinets all the way up to the ceiling and he also was working on this island. This morning I'm going to start taking down all of these cabinet doors and I have to label each cabinet door so that we know exactly where it goes. So we'll be labeling the cabinet doors and then also labeling the inside of the cabinet. I need to clean the inside of the cabinet, we need to clean these cabinet doors, and then we need to sand the cabinet doors. That way the primer can bond to the cabinet doors. I did decide to keep the original hinges just because I am going for a little bit of a rustic look in this kitchen, so I think the hinges are definitely going to match the look that I'm going for, and they'll match the handles and the pulls that I picked out. dedicated basically an entire week to these kitchen cabinets because there is just so much prep work that goes into painting kitchen cabinets. We spent days prepping these cabinets. There was just so many different steps and a lot of work went into these cabinets, but it was worth it in the end. So I chose five different samples of blue paint and then Jalen painted them onto this piece of plywood. That way we could bring it down here to the house and just hold it in the different light and see which one we like the best. And I think we're both leaning towards blue spruce. This blue is just the closest blue to that inspo picture that we have. We do have a lot to do before we can even start painting. The only thing that we've gotten done so far is to clean the cabinets. We still have to sand them all. We've got to sand this entire kitchen. So a lot of work ahead of us, but it is going to look awesome when it's done. Probably the worst part of this kitchen makeover was trying to get everything clean and sanded. These cabinets needed to be completely clean before they were sanded, and there was a lot of grease and buildup on these kitchen cabinets, so we were just taking a razor blade, as you could see there, and just scraping down the sides of the cabinets, trying to get off that gunk, and it was even more difficult when it came to the cabinet doors because all of the doors had that crease, and so all of that buildup was in those creases and it took a lot of sanding and scraping with a razor blade and a lot of cleaner to get everything clean and there was also a finish on these doors so that had to be scuffed up and sanded enough for the paint to bond and I just showed a couple of clips of this process because it would have been hours of footage we spent two entire days just working on these cabinets cleaning and sanding and everything. So before you undertake the job of painting kitchen cabinets, be sure that you realize just how much work goes into prepping the cabinets and the doors. It is a lot of work and you have to do all of this prep if you want to end up with a good smooth paint finish that is going to last for years and years. Okay, 
so these cabinets were sanded and now everything had to be cleaned because there couldn't be any dust left or dirt anywhere on these cabinets or on the floor by the cabinets because when he was spraying them we didn't want any dirt to blow up onto the cabinets as well so I was wiping the dust off of the cabinets and then also cleaning the inside as well the shelves and things just decided to go ahead and clean all of that while the doors were off Jalen had already painted the ceiling with a flat white ceiling paint and now he was going to paint the walls before we painted the kitchen cabinets and the wall color that we chose was Pale Oak by Benjamin Moore. Now that the walls were painted and dried, we put up the plastic and the tape around the ceiling and the walls and inside the cabinets, just getting these cabinets completely ready for paint. Before we start painting the cabinets, Jalen is going to cut the holes for the pendant lights that are going over the island. He didn't want to cut those holes after we painted just because it was going to make a lot of dust. These pendant lights turned out so beautiful in this kitchen. They were from Amazon and they are a very affordable price so I will be sure and link them down below. We had a quick lunch break and now we are getting started painting these kitchen cabinets so I am laying all of the doors out here in the living room and I'm using these little triangles that we bought from Lowe's. We also had quite a few previously but we had to buy even more for these doors and these are just so perfect when you're painting cabinet doors you can set them on these little triangles and then we are going to wait for them to completely dry for 24 hours before flipping them over So today is day two of painting these kitchen cabinets. So we were up early this morning, heading down here. We are just loving this kitchen cabinet color. It turned out so good. This color is called Blue Spruce. Yesterday was the first coat of paint on these kitchen cabinets, and I think they're only going to need one coat. He is going to have to do a second coat here on the front of the island, but the rest of the cabinets only needed one coat. And then as far as the doors, he only got half of the doors painted yesterday and we let those dry overnight and now he's going to flip over those doors, paint the front of the doors, and then we'll set those in a different area to dry and we can set up the rest of the doors and get the front and back painted today. It's definitely a process, but we want to do this right. We want the doors to be completely dry before we flip them over. We don't want to get any marks on the doors or anything. And so we're just taking our time. We want it done right the first time. And so far it is just turning out beautiful. We're getting a nice smooth finish. Jalen's doing such an awesome job with the painting. So I was cleaning all of the hinges. As you could see, I was dumping them into this little white bucket that had cleaner and hot water. And then I was taking each one out and scrubbing it, setting it on a towel to dry. A lot of these hinges were very dirty and greasy and just caked with a lot of different things. So I had to do some scrubbing to get them nice and clean before we use them to hang up the doors. We were working at hanging up all of the doors and installing the handles, the knobs, and now Jalen is installing these pendant lights and I ordered these off of Amazon. They were a really affordable price. They come with a bulb and they do have that brass look on the inside of them, which ties into all of the handles and the knobs and the hinges in the kitchen.
last week we got the sink for the kitchen and also the faucet. I want to unbox these really quickly and give you a sneak peek of the faucet because it's a really beautiful faucet that's going to tie into the look of this kitchen really well. And then this is the same workstation sink that I have. I really love my sink and so I've put one of these in the flip house and then we're also going to put one here in Jesse and Melodia's house as well. Okay, so it's the next morning and there is a lot happening this morning. First off, the new countertops are getting installed here probably in about two hours. So we have to pop off this countertop that's still on the island. We've been using this to store everything as we've been renovating, but now the time has come to take this off. Jalen is going to continue installing this flooring, and then we've got a contractor coming to help with the electrical in the kitchen, and then he's also going to finish the grout back in the bathroom. So the beautiful granite countertop was now being installed. Back at the beginning of this home renovation, we had gone into Lowe's to order the countertop, and then our order got handed over to a local countertop company that we had such an awesome experience with, would highly recommend. But they called us after the measurements were done and said the countertop we originally chose was going to take several extra weeks because that slab would have to be shipped in from California. And if you've been watching this whole series, you know that we were on quite a time crunch so they told us to stop by and walk through their yard and see if we could pick out a slab that they already had on hand. If we could pick out one they already had on hand, they would be able to start on it in about two weeks, which was really awesome. They only had about four different slabs though available that were in our price range, but thankfully this fourth slab was perfect and it just looked beautiful in the kitchen and the total cost ended up being $300 cheaper than the original slab that we had chosen. And because this countertop is a bit busy, I wanted to go with more of a subtle, simple backsplash. We had gotten a few backsplash samples at Floor and Decor, but ended up just going with a rectangle subway backsplash from Lowe's, which you'll see here in just a few minutes. Like you saw at the beginning of this video, there used to be a plate rack in this area, but she wanted to remove the plate rack. So Jalen had removed that on demo day, and now we are adding this stained wood shelf. This was a piece of wood that we already had on hand in the shop, and it was the perfect size for this space. And I just stained it the same dark color as their mantle and all of the other wood accents in this main area. These bar stools that I'm adding are from Walmart. I love these bar stools. They are such an affordable affordable price for such a good, high quality, nice looking modern bar stool. You just cannot beat the price. I do usually end up sanding down the top part and staining that a different color. So now we are going to install that faucet from Krauss. They had already installed the Krauss workstation sink when they installed the countertop and they had pre-drilled the holes in the countertop for this faucet. So we just had to set that in there and then Jalen needed to hook up all of the water lines. This is such a beautiful faucet. I will have the link for it down below as well as the link for the workstation sink and all of the accessories But this faucet was just such a statement piece for this wall and popped off of these tiles I haven't talked about the tiles yet Our contractor did just go ahead and install those backsplash tiles for us while we were at the wedding in Indiana We were on a time crunch We finished this renovation in just eight weeks And so we just went ahead and hired the contractor to install the backsplash in the kitchen, which was such a 
relief to come home from that trip and see that the backsplash was already installed. Like I said, I did just go with a simple subway tile and it looks very white on camera, but in person it is more of a warm color. I would say like a light tan, light gray, so it goes well with the colors that are in this countertop. Appliances from Lowe's were delivered and this is a Hisense kitchen appliance package. So first we have the Hisense smart refrigerator which has a lot of neat features, Wi-Fi function to control the temperature and monitor your refrigerator remotely. It has an ice and water dispenser on the door, lots of storage inside and it's really well lit with 360 surround LED lights. These shelves are adjustable. There is just so much storage inside of this refrigerator and I love the two tiered freezer drawers and it has that extra small middle drawer that has different temperature settings which will be really handy for them to have. Next we have the Hisense Top Control Energy Efficient Dishwasher. You can fit a lot of dishes inside this dishwasher. It even has a third rack that is going to be really handy as well and I love that this dishwasher will pop open as soon as it's done so that it can air dry. Just very energy efficient in a lot of different ways. All of these appliances are sold exclusively at Lowe's and they come with a two-year warranty. We have been using Hisense appliances for years and love them. We've got a Hisense fridge in our home and we installed Hisense appliances in that flip house we remodeled back in 2022. If you want to see more details about their appliances, I will have the links below or you can check out your local Lowe's to see Hisense appliances in person. So now I am starting to decorate the kitchen. I had gone into Tucson a few days previously and collected all of the decor that I would need for this home and I was also going to use some of their items as well. They had all of their wedding gifts and shower gifts that they had opened stored back in the back bedroom and so I was able to use some of her kitchen items like this wooden spoon set, their plates, and a few other items. I did go into an antique shop and I found these vintage wooden bowls that were 50% off and I love the character that they add to the kitchen. I put them up here here on these shelves along with their dishes and some greenery, a few other items. I wanted to keep the decor kind of minimal but still wanted to stage the kitchen for them. So the microwave vent hood was delivered a bit later than the other appliances, so we are now getting that installed. And once he has that installed, then he does have to add a few more tiles underneath the microwave, and then he will grout those tiles, and then I can share with you the before and afters of this kitchen. I forgot to tell you the details of their gas range, which is right underneath the microwave here. This has a lot of great features. It looks really beautiful and sleek right here. It heats up to 350 in less than five minutes, which I thought was really neat. It has six different burners and it's got this awesome griddle in the middle where you can make pancakes or grilled cheese. It was really awesome to be able to bless Jesse and Melodia with not only a new kitchen, but also these beautiful new appliances from Hisense.
and now it is time for the before and the afters. It was really fun to reveal not only this entire home to the new couple, but also this beautiful kitchen, and we're so happy that they absolutely love their new kitchen. Hope you enjoyed this complete kitchen makeover if you did give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and thank you all so much for watching i will see you next week with a new video bye